everybody, Wendy Sellers here, the HR lady. I'm here to share with you top 10 reasons why Americans quit their jobs and why it's important for you to know that is so that you can retain your staff, get ahead of the turnover, fix the problems in your organization, and then you will have a much lower cost of recruiting because you will be replacing less people. So the number one reason is poor pay. This is the most common reason why people quit their jobs according to a study by the Pew Research Center. 63% of employees said that compensation and benefits were an important factor in the decision to leave their job. Number two is lack of career advancement opportunities. Many employees feel they're not being challenged or given the opportunity to grow in their current role. This can lead to stagnation and overall just unhappiness, which may leads to turnover, whether it's them quitting on their own or them being so unhappy that they are removed from the team because they're not being productive. Number three is an unhealthy work-life balance. We've heard about this a lot over the past few years, and it is true that employees want to work less and have a little bit more control over their jobs, which is easy to do in some roles and not so easy to do in other roles. But if you are not making their jobs a healthy work-life balance, then they may look for another organization that is willing to do that. For toxic work environment, this is either managers or employees. That could be a bullying environment, harassment, which is illegal, or general lack of disrespect. This makes people feel very uncomfortable and they don't want to work with you. Number five is dissatisfaction with the overall company culture. Maybe they do not share the values which were not explained upon hiring, pre-hire, or in training. They may not... Uh, it, understand the company values or they may not agree with the manager's values. Maybe those managers weren't their managers previously and new people are coming in. So they don't feel like they belong there. Number six, they feel underappreciated. Everybody likes that pat on the back. Uh, employees want to feel like their work is valued. Who the heck doesn't want to feel like that? That they're making a difference to their to the world, to their community, to their coworkers, the customers as well. If they don't feel appreciated, they may start looking for a job somewhere else. Number seven is lack of opportunities to learn and grow. Employees want to, um, not, not all employees want a raise or want to be a manager or promoted to another level on the organizational chart, but most people do want to feel that they are constantly learning something and growing in their careers even if it doesn't mean going up another level. So how are you gonna figure that out? You're gonna to have to start talking to your employees and asking what they wanna do in life and how you can help them get there. Number eight is if there's been any changes in leadership that may scare people off. They may have liked the status quo or they may not like the changes that are coming. And so they may also may not just feel confident in the new leadership because the new leaders haven't been introduced and um, onboarded, so to speak. Number nine is relocation. If employee is asked to relocate to their, for their job, they may not be willing to do so. They may not be able to do so. So that may be a reason that they choose not to relocate and leave the organization. And finally, there are these things called personal reasons, which aren't really any of your business, but hopefully you would find out a little bit about your, your team members because if they're leaving to care for a family member or because of a medical condition or a mental health, health issue. Maybe your benefits could help them and they can stay after all, but they're going to need to be comfortable enough with you, HR or leadership or the managers to say, hey, I need help and, I, and I'm going to ask you for it. Otherwise, I don't feel safe asking you for it and therefore I'm leaving to go somewhere else. These are some really, really scary statistics here. Um, a lot of this information is, again, from the Pew Research, from SHRM. Um, in 2022, we found that 70% of employees that said they were consider 70% of their employees said they were consider leaving their current job, and that is why they were uh, not engaged because they were like, why should I get engaged with what's going on when I'm probably leaving in the next three, six, 12 months? Glassdoor has a lot of information and Indeed as well. If you're looking for any other information, please reach out to me, Wendy Sellers, the HR lady. I hope that you take this information and say, you know what? 
I need to dig into this further and stop the turnover train. And I also need to train my managers. A trained manager can help stop people leaving and then you won't have to be wasting so much time on recruiting and interviewing when you're then spending time doing the job that you're hired to do.